welcome back to the channel we're out at our 520 square foot greenhouse i wanted to show our cattle panels we've got them all attached and we're getting them nice and secure i'll bring an update once we get that secure and the second layer of poly completely on we had an absolutely frozen day yesterday and the night before was seven degrees with a negative three degree windshield we are not holding a lot of heat in this greenhouse because we're transferring it right through one layer of poly most of the heat is held in the floor we are sitting about 50 degrees in here which is great for being 22 degrees right now outside we had some solar activity today a little bit of sunlight which really helped us so out i wanted to stop here while i was walking through and take a look at all of the life we've got coming up we've got sprouts coming up through all of these little trenches in between where our radishes were lots of life and that is great when we're trying to sprout with negative temperatures and we're losing heat constantly to the outside temps being so cold. I wanted to get some temps on this little solar box. We had 20 degrees, 22 degrees for a high today. And this box should have held some heat because we had about half day of sun. So the greenhouse rocks in the floor of the greenhouse outside our box are about 52, 53 degrees. Now in this box, we're sitting 68, 69, 70 degrees, 69 degrees. That is amazing because we were pulling all of that hot air through the floor of our greenhouse and heating up the airspace creating a nice warm atmosphere in this greenhouse so i wanted to make some observations on these systems this solar air heater is great and it does not negatively impact us when it's very cold out this box yesterday when we had no solar activity was about five to 10 degrees above the internal greenhouse temperature which is pretty good for not having any heat or energy to start this box to heat up now with our water system that is a big if because that is only heating by the sun so if it's cold for a couple days and we don't have any solar activity we have no energy we are dead in the water so that being said i'm probably not going to use this system going forward because i have some other ideas for what i want to do with this solar powered pump and water flowing system i believe i can actively heat the water in that coil without the sun and for much longer and a much steadier duration so we can really bank some heat in the floor of this greenhouse like our solar air heater all of the rocks and bricks in here are acting like a three to six hour battery storing all of that energy as heat and thus releasing it slowly over three to six hours ish at nighttime creating more warmth than we would naturally now when it's sunny out the solar powered water heater is absolutely amazing it works great it heats our water up 10 to 20 degrees more than the inside temperatures of our greenhouse which could be 50 degrees above the outside temperatures outside our greenhouse but on the other hand that cold water sitting in our hose is negatively impacting our roots and root development and our soil temperature when we don't have any solar activity so the water heating system is about a 50 50 in my book because it works great when the sun's out and it negatively draws when the sun is not out so you're either gaining or you're losing and i do not want to be losing anything so that is why i will be changing this system so everybody stay tuned to see what i'm going to build in this corner or what i'm going to configure in order to heat this greenhouse throughout the winter here and hopefully have some success with the new system I'm going to set up. This greenhouse is completely passively heated right now, passive solar heating. So what I want to do is actively heat without spending any money on gas or fuel to heat the greenhouse. So stay tuned for an update on this greenhouse and how I'm planning on heating it.